Welcome to the demonstration of the recovery of a virtual machine from an All Paths Down or APD condition with the help of vSphere Virtual Machine Component Protection or VMCP. We will use the Payroll 01 VM for this demonstration. We see it is running on the host ESX01 and is located on iSCSI storage and that there are no other virtual machines located on the iSCSI storage though there are other VMs running on that host. Looking at the console of the VM, we see current disk activity. We will trigger an All Paths Down or APD situation by incorrectly configuring the VLAN ID for the iSCSI initiator by changing it from 1001 to 1000. Looking at the VM console, we see that all disk activity has dropped to zero because the VM just lost access to disk. We start seeing errors that the host cannot connect to its storage. It also shows the affected data stores. After waiting for the timeout period to expire, we refresh the page. We see a message that vSphere HA has detected that data store mounted on ESX01, its host was inaccessible due to all paths down or APD. Next, we see that the VM is powered off. We refresh and see that the VM has been powered on host 2 and that HA completed a VM failover action. Looking at the payroll VM, we see that it is running successfully and confirm that it is on host 2 and still located on the iSCSI storage. This completes our demonstration of VMCP recovering a virtual machine from an all paths down or APD condition. Thank you.